Molly. Are you Bonnie? I'm Bonnie. Nice to meet you. <laughs> How are you today? Oh, I'm not bad. Not bad. Good. I mean, holding, up, holding up okay with this crazy world that we're living in right now? <laughs> yeah, not bad today. Good. I, we have to take it one day at a time, don't we? It's crazy, right? Yeah. 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 How are you doing? It's fine here too. It's just uh, we we've just gone into another state of emergency lockdown. So, you know, what can I say? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You guys are going through. It too. And yeah. in We're all in the same boat, my friend. Well, let's talk about this great performance in this awesome movie. I watch this movie and I'm watching you and I go, "Wow, this is such a fantastic performance you did." So, con congratulations on that, Molly. And I wanted to ask you first off, when you were making this movie, did you feel that you were doing something special, that you were in the midst of something special, you know? Yeah, yeah, I did. I think it, um, because a film like that is such, a, any job is a bit of a leap of faith. Um, and especially like a, a small budget indie film that's um, the director's first feature film, it's a bit like, oh, okay, this, I think this is gonna be amazing. And then when you're on the shoot, um, Claire Oakley, the director, was just fantastic and the whole team were fantastic and we were all so passionate about it and it just felt really organic and, and felt really creative and, and wonderful and, and you don't get many of those. I'm sure. Yeah. Tell me about your first reaction uh, when, you know, Claire presented the script to you or even started to talk to you about it and, and kind of what Ruth was going to have to go through. What, what were you thinking when you first found out about it? Um, so when I first met uh, Claire and Emily, the producer, I hadn't, they couldn't release a script to me. So I kind of went in and was like, okay, I've heard of, like, but it's such a hard film to try and explain without reading it or saying it. So I was sort of interrogating them. Yeah. Uh, and then when they sent the script across, I remember reading it and just, it is just such a journey and such a, you know, every moment's filled with so much stuff and so much, um, like you say, the, the journey that Ruth goes on. Um, and I think for me, your gut reaction is always a good one to go on. And I was just like, this is amazing. This is a story that I want to tell. And I think it's really, will be a really exciting process. And um, yeah, from reading the script, that was the moment that I was like, yeah, this, this is really special. Yeah, and I, I wanted to know um, how you went about to prepare to play her and to kind of get into her head. Was it a little bit scary? <laughs> um, I think it is one of those things that you can do so much um, talking through and, and Claire and I spoke a lot about um, all the different moments in the film and, and all the different feelings that Ruth has and uh, we talked a lot about how young girls are sort of conditioned to control their emotions or suppress them. And right. you kind of do your academic research and, and you're talking and you're chatting. And then when it comes to the shoot, um, just trusting that that's the scary bit, but that's also the magic bit, I think. Um, so yeah, we did lots of, lots of chatting, lots of, um, sort of discovery into the moments to then sort of let it go when it came to the shoot. Yeah. Um, and when you're working with somebody like Claire, who's obviously uh, the writer, director, you know, you have her there by your side the whole time. Um, how, you know, how much freedom did she allow you with Ruth or, you know, with, did you have ideas that she would, um, you know, accept from you? You know, I wanted to know about the collaboration with Claire. Claire's fantastic at collaborating. And I think that's one of the things that made it so special. Um, not just the acting, but with all the, the departments who work so hard to make the film. Mm -hmm. um, and I think because she's such a great collaborator, that's why it, it worked and it kind of flew for us all. Um, because then you've got sort of 50 creative minds on it that were all so passionate. And, and I think, you know, that's one of Claire's fantastic skills that she's got. 
Yeah, um, let's talk about the location, um, which I find fascinating because you guys, you, it was a public place. Like it wasn't like, you know, a set where it was just you guys. So there were like real people there who I, from what I understand too, were also extras as well. Like just to kind of fill out the scenes and stuff. Um, tell us a little bit about that location and, and, and working in this environment. I found it fascinating. We don't have a lot of those types of places in Canada, uh, maybe in the Northern parts, you know, or, or where people live but it's not something that I'm I'm really familiar with so talk about that a little bit it was really good for me because I'd never um been on like a caravan holiday or uh, a lot of my friends had as, as kids yeah. um but one of the things that Claire sorted out for me was when I arrived on the park she got me on the latest train possible so that when I got there it was all dark oh great point, I didn't know any of the team so I remember being met at the gate by um, one of the assistant directors and, and it was all so weird and so scary <laughs> and like, um, but yeah, and then it became home really because it was quite a trek to get from there back to home to visit home. So I stayed for the whole shoot, I think I did. Yeah. Um, but because we were all staying there, the whole team bonded and um, it was really sad to leave actually. It felt quite magic. Yeah, I guess because you become a tight knit community when you're working in this kind of environment, I would think. Yeah, because you can't, um, you can't do it. You eat together, you're sleeping in shacks next to each other. You, you know, it's not like you've got these big um, moves to different locations. You literally are walking around a caravan park together. And um, so it started to feel a bit like our playground, really. Yeah. Um, stunning, really, really beautiful place to, to work. Yeah, it looked it look kind of neat, actually. I, I like that because there's no um, uh, it, there's no opportunity to be a diva or anything on a set like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just lots of getting cold and getting rained on and being in the sea. It was great. I loved it. Yeah, talking about that, that was my next question. Because <laughs> I have to tell you, I mean, I, I, I was like kind of shivering watching a lot of you <laughs> because you're wet for a lot of this film, you know, whether you're in the sea, it's raining, you're always wet. Okay, seriously, what, what, okay, let's talk about the sea because especially in, in, um, in the UK, it's not really that warm in the sea, you know, uh, it's a little bit, uh, I don't know. So talk <laughs> about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it just it was one of those things that um there were some scenes that we got to do with wetsuits some that we didn't um and I think for Claire as well there were some scenes where um they'd been arranged so that it was just the actors and and Nick Cook the DOP and like the bear bear um crew to go out in the sea yeah. so Claire was meant to be watching from a monitor on on the beach but the monitor wasn't and she she said she just felt helpless so then five minutes later Claire's in a wetsuit coming out um and the waves were getting us all and it, it's just crazy yeah um, it looked like it, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, did it. you got through it good on you uh, I got a lot of messages there's a lot being said in this film and I don't want to give anything away but what would you like people to take from it when they watch it what do you hope um I just hope it, it's fantastic to talk to people that um, I think it's one of those films that raises more questions than answers them in a way. Yeah. Um, and I think it's really interesting to talk to people that have, have watched it that maybe it's not their sort of film or one that they'd initially watched, but then um, to hearing people's different opinions on, on Ruth and her journey and um, I think opening that that dialogue is, is really exciting and um, yeah, I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah, good. I also wanted to ask you about working with Joe Quinn too, because, um, you know, he's, he's been in a lot of things as you have. Uh, t tell me about working with him and, and kind of establishing the chemistry with him as well. Yeah, it was great. I mean, Joe was great because I think I remember talking and because of the locations being all in the same place, um, Claire was saying, look, do we start shooting in chronological order or do we flip it so that you start off not being on the same wavelength and then, um, but I think Joe was working on something else and then he arrived on this caravan park and we got so much to get through. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah he's a he's a pro we just just we just it. it was great yeah yeah no I, I i like him a lot he, he's he's excellent you um of course have been in so many tv series congratulations you won a bafta i mean that's you know was that life-changing or what was that like for you to get that award for that that's a great show by the way thank you um i was actually shooting makeup at the time of the baftas yeah. so I think we wrapped at two o'clock in the morning. I was getting picked up at five, had to be flown to London to get there in time. Oh no. And crazy sort of, um, you know, getting back together with the three girls team, the um, program that I won the BAFTA with. Yeah. Um, so seeing them all again after, I think it was a year or two, um, winning the BAFTA. And then I was flown back to Cornwall and chucked in the sea a few hours later. There you go. Um, but it was, it was wonderful. It was a really nice experience. And I was so thankful that I was coming back to the makeup team and, and we'd still got about a week left on the shoot at that point, I think. Yeah, yeah, good for you. I wanted to ask you too, um, earlier in your career, I think one of your first roles, um, you worked with the great Samantha Morton and I just love her to pieces. She's so talented. I just recently, of course, hear, I don't know if you, you've gotten it yet and we've, she was on The Walking Dead and um, she's just so versatile and I, I, I had the opportunity to meet her and she's so, so talented. What do you take as a young actress, you know, maybe later in your career that maybe you've learned from her? I think she really shaped um, me and, and my relation to the industry in terms of, because when I worked with her, I was 11 years old. Yeah. And she really took me under her wing and um, she gave me such a good experience as a first job um, and it was something really creative and, and something really beautiful that I really cared about and um, I think it's those projects and, and those people like Sam who, who really excite me to work with and um, you know how Sam works really influenced me as a young actor and um, it is a bit of a rock that I come back to and, and I think has really shaped me and I'd probably be really different without it. Yeah, that's good to hear. Yeah, it's great. So anything coming up next? Um, I know it's hard to shoot now and people are having a, a difficult time, but do you have anything else coming up in the near future? Um, I've got a few bits floating around, but I kind of don't <laughs> don't believe yeah. it till there on the day, especially yeah. now. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it'll come, it'll come. <laughs> One day soon. Well, all I have to say is, first of all, thank you so much for your time today, uh, Molly. I really appreciate it. You're so fantastic in this. And I have to say, I don't think I will ever go back to wearing acrylic nails ever again in my life. <laughs> Wait, did you ever get them done before this film? Did you ever have them? I think I did, but I can't, I don't think that's the way you meant to take them off. <laughs> right oh it's funny because I did wear them just up until the pandemic and then of course you couldn't go to the nail salon so they start slowly coming off and then you start oh, oh no, anyway. no. once <laughs> you're off I'm going with my naturals there you go I'm done for good but anyway thank you so much for your time today you're lovely uh young lady and uh best of luck to you in the future and good luck with the film great talking to you thank you so much you're take welcome care. okay take care Molly bye-bye